Hi, Victor. So I built a CRM, a kind of low-budget CRM, low-tech CRM, to help with outreach to potential partners, to potential um, uh, customers, to potential websites where we can do guest posting or get links. Basically, to any contact of any kind where we need to reach out to people and keep track of the, the, the contacts. So I built, now this is just example data, this isn't real, I didn't actually reach out to Divi or to MemberPress yet. So I just put this here so you could sort of see how it works. Uh, currently I have it grouped and sorted, but there's also sort of a uh, an un unsorted view. But anyway, so you can see that this is the date, and each time that you connect with the contact, we're basically going to indicate a touch. So the first time that you can connect with Divi, you'll say, okay, that's the first touch. The second time that you speak to somebody, that'll be the second touch. The, now, you don't, obviously, like this, you don't, if you're sending a ton of emails back and forth, you don't have to put every single touch, but every touch where something happens, something new, or some kind of development occurs, we'll want to put that here and then add some notes. So for example, let's imagine that I reached out to Divi through their contact form, their, the first touch, and the second time I reached out to Divi, I connected with their marketing manager to see if they're open to the idea of listing us as a partner on their partners page. Then I had a call with their marketing manager, Jenna, I just made that up, and then we got informed that we are now listed as a partner. So that's kind of the stage, the, the life cycle of an outreach campaign. Now it could go the other way, and we reach out, we have some conversations, and then at the end of the day they say, well actually this isn't going to work for whatever reason. And um, in that case we will mark the stage as lost. You can see in stages we have prospect, lead, one lost reconnect and actually I forgot to add a reconnect date so let's add that here okay and basically if I've already described these here in the description a prospect is somebody you're reaching out to but we don't know if there's any potential fit yet a lead is somebody once we've reached out to them okay, maybe there's some kind of a fit. Maybe we can be listed as a partner. Maybe we can somehow help each other out. So there's a potential alignment there. So then they become a lead. Okay, um, if, if we determine early on that a prospect is not a lead, then we just say lost. Basically, there's no, there's no fit. There's nothing more to do. So lost, uh, we'll just say lost, right? Uh, one means that we made some kind of a, a deal or an arrangement. And reconnect means that, for whatever reason, we're not ready to make a deal right now, but maybe in the future we can. And whenever that happens, we need to get a specific date and say, okay, when can we touch base again? Let's touch base again in 30 days or 60 days or whatever the case may be. And in that case, you would put a reconnect uh, date. Well, you would change the status to reconnect, and you would place uh, some kind of a reconnect date, let's say, you know, in two weeks we'll reconnect. Okay, and so now you know, and you could even have a new view called reconnect view where you sort by reconnect date, right? And you can obviously expand this view a little bit more if you want. Now, let's say that we're also going to do like outreach to potential customers. Well, what we can do in that case is uh, we'll keep this view and let's, let's actually, this will be partner view. No, let's actually let's duplicate this view. All right, and we'll call this partners view. We'll go back to the grid, and we will rename it grid view raw. No filters, and we'll clear the grouping and the sorting. Okay. Now we'll go back to the partner's outreach, which is actually 
just another grid view. And let's call this one um, customer outreach. Okay, so this is where we basically identify potential customers and we say, okay, let's reach out to these people and let's connect with them and see if maybe we can help them with their business and um, try to get them as a member, member fixed customer or a speed kills customer. Now, in that case, we wouldn't need this prospect partner's linked record. We would need a linked record to the customers tab. Well, they're not customers yet, but we want them to become customers, right? And then we would hide this one because we don't need it in this view. And now you can see that in the customers outreach, we have pretty much the same thing that we have in the partners outreach, except we have different views showing. Okay. Actually, we'll call it customer view. Okay. So anytime we reach out to somebody who might be a, a, a new customer, we would add them as a, we'd add their name, let's say John Smith, John Smith at gmail.com. Okay, we're not going to link them to a plan because they're not customers yet. Status will say um, active, inactive prospect. So we could even say it's a prospect right here. And uh, we can say their website, you know, John Smith, John dot Smith. I don't know if that's actually an extension, but that would be kind of cool. Okay, and so now we have them in the customer's database. Okay, so here's John Smith. And, okay, here's his first touch stage. He's still a prospect. You know, found him on MSA, Member Site Academy, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, the, the benefit of this too, Victor, is that we're going to have a better idea of where our... We know where our customers come from now, um, but maybe as we get bigger, you know, in the next year or two, and we start having, you know, dozens of customers, hundreds of customers, hopefully... Um, then we'll need to track these things more systematically. And that's what this is for, right? So, um, now I wonder if I delete these. Ah, okay, so for this view, we have to make it where um, basically we want, to, we want to make it only where we have customers so that we don't interfere with the other records, right? Um, let me think how to do that. We create a filter where... Right, okay, let's say where prospects is not empty. Or prospects where customers where customers is not empty. There we go, okay. That makes sense. And here is our uh, view, and obviously if we add, you know, another customer, let's say 14, and we create a new customer, let's say, uh, Jane Doe, jane.do at gmail.com. She's a prospect. Okay. Then, what we can do is, after we add all of the information, say found her, found on LinkedIn, um, we can group by customer. Okay, and now things are nice and neat, nicely organized, and obviously you can sort by date as well. And that'll sort of keep things organized as well. So now we've got our customer view. We've got our partner's view. And in the partner's view, we want to do the same filtering that we did in the other view, but only the opposite. So where, where um, prospects partners is not empty. There we go. Now we've gotten rid of all of the customers' linked records, and we've only got the partners' linked records left. 
Okay, I hope that makes sense. I don't, I don't know if I'm doing this in the most uh, efficient way, but I think it would work pretty well. And it's pretty easy because all you have to do is basically switch between the different views, um, and and it'll be it'll be pretty quick to do. So, Victor, I hope this is helpful. Feel free to modify this CRM in any way that makes sense. I think we'll be using it primarily for outreach for potential customers, outreach for um, content opportunities, guest post opportunities, and outreach for maybe even team members, right? Uh, but but also for partnerships. So. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to also turn this into an article. You can even use this video in the article. That would be totally fine by me.